Okay, I'm live. Yeah, we'll set something up. Okay. I am not prepared. <laughs> I am not prepared. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm assuming it's, is it? Oh, it is live. Okay, we're live. Hello, everyone. I'm not prepared. <laughs> Okay, I have, well, I'm kind of prepared. I have some things ready to go and just complete brain mush. But hey, welcome. Welcome to the chaos and all of it. If it's not one thing, it's going to be another. So I am going to, while I just chat for the first little bit, continue some of the die cutting that I was doing because, yeah, I got just a stack away for dies. Things are um, linked below mo for the most part. And then Chris, my, my trusty moderator hiding in the corner is going to add them in the chat as we get to them. And he'll add all the things that I forgot because you know, you know. So yes, hello to everyone. Um, yeah, Marianne and Jules and Sharon and Hazel and Anita. Hello, Kabir. Uh, Emily, all of you. Hello, hello, hello. And yeah, we'll just we'll just chat for a little bit before I switch the camera over. I was fiddling with the picture in picture thing. I actually kind of figured some of it out, but I'm scared to do it yet. <laughs> I'm scared I'll break it and shut everything down. So yeah, we'll just We'll just see, but I'll do my little extra bit of die cutting here just so I can get some things out of the way before we actually flip things around and make stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be, and it's going to be Halloween card. I feel like I haven't done one in forever. And, yeah, ideas. So, yes, hello to everybody. My chat seems to be working. Everything seems to be working. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll just see. It's working. Everything's working. Everyone can see me and hear me. Good. Good. Fabulous. Fabulous. So yeah, this won't be... This won't be a super long live stream like my usual mo i have like three other videos i need to film today because <laughs> it's stamp timber and yeah we've got we're only halfway through like there's still so much more to come plus um all the other things so yeah yeah like it's all um it's all chaos. It's all chaos. Let's make sure to actually, okay. Okay. I think everything is die cut. I think I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. And thank you. Thank you guys. I very much appreciate it. I have very much appreciated all the support, all of it. Literally, this has been the most chaotic month ever for Stamptember. Thanks to the package that decided to go on a vacation before showing up at my place two plus weeks late. So I have zero runway. I have zero time. I have been up till midnight, 1am pretty much every single night because that's just what I do. But uh, getting through it. And yeah, I appreciate all of the just, yeah, the thumbs up and the comments and all the things has been wonderful. And uh thanks to you about the anna griffin empress mini oh, that was my, i know that's what i was just using i forgot to link to that you can look it up because i am i did just use it okay. if you put just type in uh click off that bottom one yeah and then just type in empress and it'll the mini will be the first one i think nope next one in the middle i think it'll say that empress one? mini yeah that's yeah there's the, there's the oh, big one yeah. and the little one. I want the mini. Yeah. I want the big one too. Sorry. Discussing with the moderator. <laughs> I love my Empress mini. I do want to get the big one. People keep asking me. Um, 
eventually. As of right now, I do not have the space for the Big Empress. Plus, it is a bit of a nightmare to get to me here in Canada. The Empress Mini was a multi-month insane process to get my hands on. And um, yeah, worth it. I have been using it for the last... It's been over six months. It's been over six months that I've been using the Empress Mini. And these are still... This is my cutting pad that is not warped. And like you cannot see through it anymore because I have been using it and I do this prof I always laugh because when I say I'm a professional I'm just being sarcastic um but I'm a professional so I have put this thing probably through thousands of cuts huge huge um thing thank you Anne and now it pops up for a second on my little screen that's kind of cool I wonder add to broadcast oh I figured it out. I figured out some tech. <laughs> Yay me. So yes, thank you, Anne, for the super chat. <laughs> uh, and if I accidentally shut off the live stream because I'm pressing buttons I shouldn't be pressing, just, yeah. Ooh, and it sh it went away on its own. Oh, okay. I didn't even have to press. Okay, okay. I'm like figuring, literally, I was like playing with the software before I went live and I was trying to figure out the picture. And pi I haven't, I can't, I can't even figure out split screen, but I did figure out how to like add things. Anyway, anyway, that's a step forward, you know, as I figure um, all the things out and I think we're good to go. Yeah, Chris added a, the link to the Empress Mini. Kath is here. Hello, Kath. Um, all the peoples, all of you. So yes, let's switch over. Part of me is like, I almost don't want to because I'm like, is the idea in my head going to translate into a card? Usually it does. It's always chaos. Um, but yeah. Okay. If I switch over and then, and then just <laughs> my, my finger stuck. <laughs> I can kind of, I can, I can kind of figure this out. Look it. Look at me! Is it working? I don't know yet. We'll see. Is it working? I'm a few seconds. I know time. it's the delay, but let's see if it actually like shows up. Yeah. Woohoo! Can you move yourself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. I moved up to the corner. Apparently, I can. I can. Hey. Yeah. See, I'm ahead of you. Yeah, you are. Um, there's a way to like, because that's what I was like, you know, to do a circle. I'm not gonna fiddle with that yet. There's ways to do it. I'm baby steps baby steps so I can actually talk to you guys sort of you guys will be basically staring at the top of my head so that's that's gonna be fun whatever okay Halloween stuff everything as of right now for the most part is linked in the description box below the video they are affiliate links affiliate links for those that aren't aware those when you click on any of my affiliate links it just it's a little tracking cookie getting into food again but we'll stay on task it's a tracking cookie if you place an order I get a little tiny percentage at no cost to you it doesn't cost you anything extra it's the store which in my case is Simon Says Stamp um, at the end of the month it all adds up and I appreciate it you do not need to click on specific products you don't need to click on like every item like say you order five items and you do not need to click if you click once just one click on one of my affiliate links you order whatever it is you want and then you you check out i get credit that's how they work and it's all about transparency and honesty people need to disclose they're using affiliate links that's literally the law so that's also why i discuss that and yeah, it helps. It helps pay the bills and keep the lights on and pay for this bloody expensive software and tech equipment. Anyway, okay. It's true. Yeah. I've invested a fortune into this. <laughs> ah, okay. All the products I'm using are oldies but goodies. Nothing is new. All of this has been on the Simon Says Store. Some of this was last year's release. Some of this is from multiple years ago. Everything is still available and most of it is in stock or all, I can't remember. Don't quote me on nothing. So yeah, that's, that's where we are with all the things. So I've, um, did you get your cookies and muffins baked last weekend? <laughs> no, nope. the bananas are currently rotting. We didn't bake those. 
Oh. We were going to do, remember, was, after yeah. the last live stream? Yeah, no, the bananas are still, they're, they're like, I don't know why. Very well ripe. We just, we have hopes. So we've left them sitting on the kitchen island as they rot. <laughs> they're still muffin of all, but barely. Yeah, it, and if we could get it to it today, but I don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Okay. So yeah, I did all my die cuttings and I'm going to do some ink blending. Let's do the embossing folder first. Cause that's always super fun. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, embossing folder, embossing folder, embossing folder, which means we need, and I have this all, all linked. So I'm going to use Simon's cute ghost embossing folder. This came out years ago two two years ago 2021 i actually put the date on the label of this one so i sound like a broken record but for those that don't watch a lot of my videos for simon's about it because it depends on the brand depends on the style because they're all different they're all different thicknesses etc so depending on the brand of embossing folder you are using um look up the listing, you know, and if it's not in the listing, because some brands just say it depends on the machine. I know Simon does list, I think, with their listings, like different sandwich options. But yeah, it depends on the folder, all the things, all the things. But what works for me is my Spellbinders Platinum 6. I use the original platform that it came with before they've, you know, now we've got the fancy extended one, etc. And thank you. I don't know how to print. Conchetta? 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 Sure. I'm horrible with. Oh, let me, let me. I figured it out. <laughs> I deserve extra thumbs up for, <laughs> for figuring. The game was literally right in front of my face. Anyway, anyway. My platform Spellware's Platinum 6, the original platform. I have two metal shims. I ended up with two. This wasn't my original plan or anything. I purchased one and then one got sent to me like forever ago, but it's perfect. However, you can use cardstock. Um, you can use things like even the, the packaging because I keep the packaging for everything, but the packaging that comes with the Simon embossing folders is pretty hefty. So that is almost really the equivalent, I think, of two metal shims. Because I've seen other makers do it. I tried it once. For me, the packaging was too much. And I couldn't get it through my machine. That's my other thing with anything. Whether it's an embossing folder or wafer dies. If when you're trying to roll it through. And it doesn't want to go. Don't force it. I have seen many posts recently. Of makers' husbands. Taking apart their die machines. Specifically the electronic ones. To try and release what they got stuck in the machine not saying that they did because sometimes just dumb things happen it's we're dealing with weird things but my big if if it's not you know taking it don't force it because nothing's worse than like breaking a die machine or oh i've been there been there busted machine cutting phone foam which we won't discuss anyway okay there's all my random random rambles Desert Storm cardstock, because it's my favorite, as always. Um, so yeah, we will move this over to the got Nina Desert Storm cardstock. We've got, in fact, I can make this a tiny. Okay, my mouse does not like working under here. Let me move this up for a sec. Are you shrinking yourself a bit more? Yeah. There we go. That's better. And I can't I can't move it to there. I've got other controls on my software that I'm not going to cover up cuz <laughs> I got enough issues with software. Okay. There's my card sack. Flower sack cloth. That's just to keep me from getting water everywhere. Light mist of water. You do not need to soak it. The water just helps soften the fibers of the cardstock so that it's a little more pliable. 
With this folder, it's not as big of a concern because this has a very sort of smooth little indentations, but certain patterns, the really deep 3D emboss patterns, you know, that have three layers, etc., etc. Those ones, not only do you need to miss your cardstock, but sometimes you need to actually run them through multiple times to get all that detail. Specifically like Tim Holtz embossing folders. Those ones are complete next level of um, embossing, but I'll get into those in a future video. So, so cute and that little dude matches my the little die cut ghosts that I'm gonna use the my friendly ghosts that I've used five million times so yes okay let's get that out of the way for now and okay I got a magic I've got green on this one whatever okay okay I'm back um, I killed an electronic switch with an embossing. Oh, that would have hurt. That, that would have hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Embossing folders. My plan is to eventually have, I'm going to make my, for, and I will, it's just for me. It's not something I'm going to share publicly because it, it depends on the machine. It depends on the person's machine. Because even, you could have the exact same machine as me. And just the slightest configuration, you know, some are, are just different, but I plan on making myself and I recommend this a little master list. Like I know what works for Simon's embossing folders. And then I'm going to have a list like, this is what I need for honeybees embossing folders. This is what I need for Tim Holtz embossing folders, spellbinders embossing folders, you know, and then I'll just know at a glance, like, okay, this is what I need. This is the sandwich. This is what works for me. So anywho. Anywho, um, yeah, he is embossed. Doesn't really, yeah, you can see when I told him. And then I wanted to do ink blending. Ink blending. I thought if we did some, maybe some green and some brown. Brown, green, that, that'll work. That'll work. Let's do that. So. Um, oh yeah, I'm always using older stuff, like, like always, I do this as a job, you know, product is sent to me, it's part of the job to promote new product, but every chance I get, I'm always pulling out the old stuff, I will never become one of those people that it's always new product all the time, 24-7. Also because sometimes there's things that I don't have a chance to use yet or they're just favorites and I'm going to always keep revisiting them because that's what I like to do. It's what I like to do. I got bugs everywhere. Anyway. Anyway. A lot of this is going to get covered up in the end because the dyes I'm using are enormous. But that's also okay. So we'll do... Jeez, and you think I'm the the tech nerd dweeb? <laughs> so. Figuring out all the things. We're figuring out all the things. Hello, Bonnie. Welcome to the first live. Welcome to the chaos. Because if it's not one thing, it's another. All right, so that was ground espresso. And then we're going to add some rustic wilderness. And while I'm doing this, I'll just wipe that up so that I'm not getting a complete mess going on. Yes, the rainbow splash folders. Those ones are different from the Simon 3D. They're thinner. I have to, I haven't, I still haven't tried. People keep asking me with that whole release. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> but that one, I had to figure out the sandwich combo that'll work for me for those because they are thinner than the, um, than Simon's 3D ones. So yeah, just another thing for me to figure out. I'm sure it'll be quite, quite simple. And yeah, yeah. So we'll do, got 
some green and some brown because that's going to basically be my ground and then we can do some like uncharted mariner because i haven't used that color in forever and it's one of my favorites oh uh, use that color yes For those that aren't aware, I have an obsession with Nina Desert Storm cardstock and Distress Oxidings because there's just something about the muted look it gives on the oxides that I just love. Okay, so did not kind of tempt mm, I'm getting ideas I'm getting ideas just give me a uh, yes okay so we got that you could still see the little ghosties but I'm just trying to I wonder I wonder I wonder where I put, I have a foam for this. Where did I put it? Probably hiding. Ha, found it. Okay. Use some white pigment ink. And because I know I'm not, I don't want to contaminate because there's a good chance that this foam is going to pick up some of the color. So let's just do that. And then I'm barely pressing. <laughs> And by barely pressing, it's just picking up the raised edges, aka the little ghosties. Look at it. Aren't they cute? Love it. No point really doing the middle because we're not going to see it. It is going to get covered up by... In fact, again, most of this background is going to technically get covered up. But still, the ideas are there. And it's fun. Look at these little guys. Yeah. Much better much much better Oop. made a mess that's okay yep inside so i'm planning on adding splatter to this so yeah and not bad actually not bad at all so if we do that and then I knew I was going to use this. I don't know why I bother even putting it away. Unraveled Mica Stain. Absolute favorite. I have purchased backups. Cause a smuff effort. It's not in the list list. Yeah, but just yeah, I just have like the Mica Stain in general. But you can look up the Unraveled. Because it's fabulous. Love me. This Mica Stain. This work surface, uh, this is Glassboard Studio. I don't have a link for it. Um, 
a lot of makers do though. A lot of makers have um, affiliate links and codes and things like that. I don't, but it is from Glassboard Studio. They are pricey. Um, yeah, especially to if you're shipping internationally. I paid a fortune for mine, but I needed it. I needed something big and yeah, it's magnetic and all the things, but I haven't, I honestly don't really use them. Like I have all the little magnets that they sell too, and I never use them. I don't bother because I use my grip mat, which I'll pull out in a second and things like that. So yeah, but yeah, it's from Glassboard Studio. Okay, mica stains. You always need to shake them up. I've been mentioning this in all the videos and I'll keep reminding people because the mica follows the rules of gravity and settles to the bottom just like so. And it needs to be shaken up because otherwise one, you'll not be able to spray anything because the nozzle is like, you know, right in there, but it will clog and it won't be pretty. So shake them up really, really good. Just bought the Halloween collection of the mica stains, yes. This one is in there because yeah, all of them are fabulous. I used, I've been using some of the um, holiday ones too. And they're, they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. They're all fabulous. Does it have non glare surface? No, no, it is just glass. The glass, there is reflection. Um, I just have my lights set kind of tilted so that they don't reflect directly where I'm filming. But yeah, they, it's glass, it still reflects. Um, okay, see, no more, no more settled mica. Everything is good. And then, I need a bigger boat. I need a bigger boat. All right. Let's just take some onto my palette. And then while we're at it, get some bigger ones. Because why not? More is always more. got the Christmas micas recently in last year's yes because yeah there are now three years worth of mica stains available so 36 yeah 36 colors and Simon says stamp has them all and they have them set in the sets because they come in sets of three but Simon also um sells them individually so yeah it's nice which is awesome because that's how I get extra backups <laughs> I just order like unraveled just added it to an extra order here and there and I'm like definitely need extras okay mm-hmm mm -hmm. how do you store your mic stains right behind me on a little all right there I was talking about that in last week's live. Was it last week's live? Yeah. Something that I have to fiddle because they don't fit on the shelf anymore. <laughs> it's just one of those Ikea pitcher ledge shelves, you know, the long ones because they have the short ones and the long ones. There's a long one connected to the wall behind me and I've run out of space since the new ones came out. So the rest are sitting actually right behind the candle. Yep right there the holiday ones are there and then the new halloween ones are kind of above it just i i'll get to it after this month i'm we ain't doing nothing till this month is over literally we ain't doing nothing because i don't have time i can't even think straight so flickering flickering candles gorgeous that was my fave still is but i like the unraveled because it's more of like a champagne color so i've been using it on everything but flickering candle is fabulous love them all and don't nobody ask me which ones um to get because i will literally respond with all of them so shimmer okay okay 
the mixing palette. This, it's linked. It's the little art impressions. Chris will link to it in the live chat because he's a good little mod. <laughs> It'll be beside the splat box. Scroll down. The, that, that. Yeah, it's just a little art impressions. I have a couple of these and I, I love, I, and I love because this one is white. So I, you know, you guys can see, I do all my ink smushing on here because I can do it on here, but this at least lets me move it out of the way so I don't get my elbow in it. So I've had that for years. Okay, now, waffle flower grip mat. And we're gonna do this dude, which is enormous, enormous. It's, it's the base and all of the pieces to layer on top and when i say enormous this is an a2 card panel so four and a quarter by five and a half pumpkin, right? yep so yeah just give it like again this background is basically going to get covered up when i'm done but it's so pretty so yeah yeah we got all the pieces that i die cut from smooth white cardstock. I'll keep the stem separate because I'm gonna blend all of these with, there it is. I was like, um, where's my ink? Whoop. Carved pumpkin and crackling campfire. So let's use okay. <laughs> Do the waffle flower sticky mats ever tear your paper? No, no. Um, maybe if when it's fresh and I mean, as in like when I actually wash, I just wipe this clean when I'm done using it always. But when I've really gunked it up, I'll wash it in the sink. Just like you can, cause again, this is photopolymer, same as high quality photo photopolymer stamps. Um, so when it's brand new or when you've just like washed it, it is a little more grippy, but I've never had a problem. All I'm thinking is maybe if you're using really thin cardstock, if it's really thin, maybe. But honestly, if I'm having a hard time, like with my little stubby nails and I can't peel, I just grab it and bend it back on itself, you know, and it just pops up. So now like the chances of this tearing paper are very, very slim because it's just gripping it's not sticky because it's literally just photopolymer it's not there's no adhesive on this that's also why i've been loving using this so much because i can yeah wipe it clean i don't have to rinse it i don't it just works it just works i love it it's amazing it's amazing and then crackling campfire which oh, look at it Look how amazing it is. <laughs> See, and that one I already had left it off, so he just doesn't want to stay, but that's fine. That's fine. How do you clean it? Already said that. I think the, but the, I'm on a delay, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. So comments are probably popping up before, um, before I say my, my spiel. But yeah, Five something like that. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna leave that in place for a minute because what I wanna do is take the little stem and him I'll use. Although again, what I'm gonna do it anyway, just out of habit, but I don't think we're gonna see the stem when all is said and done. I think it'll be covered up because he's gonna be wearing a hat because he deserves it. He's a big old pumpkin and he deserves a big old witch's hat wrong color what am i doing where there it is ground espresso okay so a little bit of vintage photo and ground espresso so that was the pumpkin and i'm gonna quickly just take and just kind of cover it because this is the base that everything's gonna get adhered on top of so i just don't want any white edges sticking out so i'll just 
but all the rest of it's gonna get covered so it's not gonna matter like at all so we'll just cover all those edges up just like so and then I'll just take the brown good done that can get set aside and then of course I'm gonna add splatter that's what we do where's my swivel there it is oh hello to germany it's always so crazy to me all you international people okay i'm gonna do some water oh let's move that out of the way do that with some water And it'll be subtle. I'm okay with that. Because then I want to add a new jack o' lantern. Do, do, do. Or do I want to do malt, malt cider? Let's do malt cider. Uh, do you have the waffle flower stamp platform? You mean the grip mat for the Misty? Yes. And I've shown it in a bunch of videos. And there's a, I don't think I have that linked, but yes, I do. And it stays in here. And I love it. It's just handy. Because again, I can just wipe it off. Um, but yeah, you see it in all of my videos when I'm actually stamping. Um, yeah. Highly, highly love them i wouldn't show them if i didn't love them um i've been using them since waffle flower released them it's been three months now something i forget when they came out like when they first released the the grip mats i was kind of like okay okay and then i started using them and now you guys i well you see i use them in like every single video because i use them all the time so yeah they're um they're awesome so and the main ones i do use are the big one this is the eight and a half inch one that i have linked and then the six and a half by eight and a half is the one i have in my misty because there's there's a six by six one there's a a2 sized one there's a mini misty sized one but the majority of what i use is is the this guy and the main misty one okay so i got this guy mixed up he's pretty dark hmm now i don't know now i don't know <sighs> you don't keep the cover on top of the grip mat in your misty no with that i don't worry about it because it again it just wipes clean with the actual sticky mats you know that Brutus Monroe makes and hmm? thank you Betty so much I can add that I don't know why I get a kick out of being able to add that to the screen I'm like look at me learning anyway um with sticky mats like the Brutus Monroe sticky mat and then Simon says stamp has one that Brutus Monroe makes for them those I keep the cover on because they're sticky I'm getting sick you guys are sidetracking me, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, I keep the cover on them because they get sticky. This one I didn't, and now it's stuck to other things. But yeah, with the sticky mats, I keep the little cover that it comes with because way more finicky to kind of deal with. I still love my sticky mats, though. They're they're handy little things but the and the sticky mats I don't clean either per se I just I take them to the sink I rinse them under water and let them dry they'll stain that happens it's fine and I've never like I have yet to really have any lose their stick but with the grip mats I only keep the cover on this big one you guys saw me peel it off before I started um, only because I keep it you know stored with other things 
so I keep the cover. But in my Misty, I don't keep the cover on it. Don't need to. It's the lid is closed. And then when it gets really gunked up with um, embossing powder, residue, that kind of stuff, I just pull it out, rinse it under the sink, or just wipe it off, and it's good to go. Yeah, I did. I wanted jack o' lantern. Mulled cider is gorgeous, but it's much more. It is very more closer to like crackling campfire and even deeper. It's very, very like reddish, which is beautiful. But I want this lighter orange. I wanted the jack o' lantern. So yeah, we'll add some some splattery bits to this as well. Have you had anything to eat? Go get yourself a snack. Well, a bit. <laughs> Don't need my mod starving himself to help me. <laughs> you can go get a couple granola bars. Yeah. That'll. I got my my carrot sticks. <laughs> we could just be a couple of rabbits sitting here eating our snakes. Anyway, okay, okay. Ah. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, yes, the the biggest grit mat. Sorry, you guys, I'm like distracted. Poor Chris, his stomach was rumbling. It was like he hasn't eaten yet, so he needs to go get a snack. Anyway, yeah, this fits in the splat box. Bonus. Um, what was the other thing? Are all the mica stains totally different colors than the distress line? Yes, they are unique. Um, you know, they still did. Um, similarities you know tim was aiming for certain colors per se but they're not none of them are actual you know not carf pumpkin or crackling camera etc they're all unique names which i love because tim holtz they come up with the best names for everything and then it also um yeah they're they're standalone they're standalone and i'm getting it literally all over myself and I got some on there too, but I don't really care. That's fine. Because again, I don't think we're going to see the stem. So it's kind of irrelevant. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's keep, let's keep going. Thank you, Create by Hand. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. Okay. Now I'm going to assemble this guy so that I don't lose the pieces because otherwise that's exactly what's going to happen in the chaos. So let's assemble him and then I can just wipe this off and get on to the next piece. I got like hair everywhere. Probably start maybe with the, oh, where are my tweezers? Okay. Uh, I'm waiting for the big mat. They have restocked several times um but they have they sell out it they have been insanely popular like i think way more popular than anyone expected ha i didn't expect it i was yeah like i said i wasn't 100 percent sure until i got a chance to start playing with it and then loved it and yeah waffle flower has been because they're tiny waffle flower is a tiny tiny little brand like it's just like nina the owner and um she's got like maybe one or two people helping her like very small brand like very very tiny and i hope i'm like hopefully let me quickly get this adhered before i keep talking because now i'm like oh crap before the glue dries make sure i got things lined up i should have started at the edge that was kind of dumb of me in fact you know what let's be safe let's be safe Anyway, um, yeah, Nina is a very, very small brand with Waffle Flower and she's, she's working hard <laughs> to get things stocked and restock the retailers and all the things. And yeah, every time they come back in stock, they sell out like immediately. It's, it's been kind of insane, but it may also makes me happy. I like seeing these little, all these smaller brands like doing so well. Or like coming up with these products that are so awesome. Okay. There we go. Yeah, start at the edge. That works. Makes more sense. You know? You know? 
Um, I'm just reading. Yeah. 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 No. Waffle Flower. They've come out with so many awesome, like, I love their stamps and dies. And then they've come out with, you know, they were the, the ones that came out with the, that silicone water media mat and the silicone stencil mats. And then their little blending brushes that I absolutely love. Oh, it came through. Okay. Thank you, Zahn. Thank you. I very much appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I love... I love Waffle Flower, and she always hits it out of the park. Like, yeah, you can't go wrong with the grip mats or the blending brushes, the stencil mats, all the things. They are fabulous. So fabulous. Okay, now it's coming together. Love it. Love it. So yeah. Does anyone else buy from the actual stores reverse as a generic carry it all company? Simon says stamp is a generic carry it all company. And just to make things very, very clear, I am directly affiliated with Simon says stamp. They, uh, I have an exclusivity agreement with them. So all my links go to Simon says stamp and that is that is how it be and has been for a very long time because simon aka heidi the owner at simon says stamp um is an unbelievably hardworking person who strives to be a one-stop shop and yeah but again all the small brands that she already carries but the brands themselves they are amazing so yeah just wanted to um, make sure that people are aware of that because sometimes I get some random, random things being said about, about that and yeah. And also clarity and honesty. So people are aware of all the things. Okay, let me adhere these last little pieces. Um, yeah. And yes, Simon does have a free shipping. It's in, Chris can copy and paste. I have it in the free shipping info in the description box below the video. Because they've been running that for the last, like, it's been over two weeks now, which they've never done during Stamptember. And this year, they've been doing it and it's been awesome. So free shipping on orders over $25. And for international people, it's $7.99 off of shipping. Um, and the codes for both of those are in the description box below my video. Because who doesn't like free shipping or a discount on shipping? Always the best. And yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's all there along with along with my affiliate links to Simon, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's get this last little piece in place. And then we've got this ginormous pumpkin. <laughs> and it's shimmery, which, can I show that? There we go. You can kind of see it. You can't actually see the sparkle sparkle, but it's there. So that part is done. And now I need to move a little faster because I feel like I'm just taking like 10 times longer to talk. But yeah, to, to clean this, I just wipe it off. And it will stain. Like you can see my mat is stained. This is again, photopolymer. Um, it's gonna stain, just like your stamps. Your stamps, good quality photopolymer stains. Especially red pigments, pink, purples because they have pinks and reds in them and black a lot of black ink has just components in it that stain doesn't affect the usability doesn't affect nothing and yeah this dude's gonna be i'm sure pure black by 
a year from now because of just everything I use it for, but that's great. So yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I just wanna get the like stuff off there, off here. Cause then the next one, I got like ink all over me, we're gonna use is this dude, which is the sassy witch hat. <laughs> uh, the difference between the Alta, I don't have the Alta new. I don't have the stamp wheel, I so I can't compare it. There are videos out there um, of other makers that have actually done, um, they've done comparisons. So you can just search in the YouTube search bar or in the, the chat groups, etc. And they'll, there, there are comparisons. I'll, all I know for sure is the, the Altenew one, one side of their mat has little like bumps on it. It's, and that's, and I think they're at slightly different thicknesses, but for the most part, they're very, they're similar, you know? So if you've already got the Altenew stamp wheel, then you're probably good to go. If you don't and you use a Misty, that's the biggest bonus with the grip mat is you can get one that fits the Misty. So yeah, yeah, all the things. So reminds me of the sorting hat, kind of, kind of. Okay, there's little pieces for the bow on this guy that I saved so I didn't lose them. Okay, okay. And then the colors I wanna use are of course, Black soot and some hickory smoke and that and I want one other color. That one. Okay. Okay. Um here are it's clear. Yes. Um it's the same stuff. It's ultra clean. Here are it's makes it, Simon says stamp has it. Um yeah, ultra clean. You can, yeah, Chris is looking it up. <laughs> He's always ahead of the game. Um, is great for your grip mats as well as your photopolymer stamps. It does have a odd smell to it, 100%. My thing with the ultra clean, I use it when, as my like last resort in the sense of like, nothing's getting whatever. It's certain, you know, certain inks just want to be started, like archival ink archival ink or if you really just you know there's more there and it's not coming off that's when I use this after I use this I immediately wipe my mat or my stamp or whatever with some water or I also use um like the Brutus Monroe stamp cleaner because that one Brutus Monroe stamp cleaner oh, he puts different scents in his he's got an original one that I have somewhere in here that like smells like the old school stuff that I'm not going to name that brand but then apparently like last fall, he came up with pumpkin spice stamp cleaner. <laughs> oh, I meant to get some. Cause I just, I thought that was hilarious. I'm like, we're all going to be sitting here snorting our stamp cleaner. Anyway, anyway. Okay. Sidetracked. Anyway. <laughs> Amy's smelling the supplies again. <laughs> okay. Let's. Quick ink blending for the hat. The base is again somewhat irrelevant because we're not gonna see it. All the pieces are gonna get adhered on top, but that at least gets some on there. And then I'll start with the hickory smoke. And then I'm gonna go in with the black soot. Just like so. So that was hickory smoke. And then we'll do the black soot. Orange dream jelly. Uh, of course he's got scents like that. He's got so many random scents in some of his products, but now I'm <laughs> I should contact him and be like, hey, <laughs> do you do these in like sample sizes so I can like test them all out and see which ones I like? <laughs> Although I'll admit when I was at Create um, back in the spring, Ricky and I 
were in like the Tim Holtz area because like they sell products and stuff. And we were in the, not the Tim Holtz, the Brutus Monroe area with all the products. And Ricky and I were like opening everything and selling it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not the only one who's totally insane sometimes. He and I had fun just, yeah, we were like, oh my goodness, smell this glitter paste. Because yeah, some of them were scented. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? So, I'm assuming, he, I won't be surprised if he comes out with another, like, fall scented or Christmas. Ooh, a Christmas scented one. Guys, like, cinnamon scented stamp cleaner. I'll have to, like, email Christopher after this and be like, yo, what are your plans? Are you going to do this? Okay. That's blended. Very simple. Now we're going to do the little itty bitty pieces for this bow and I'll just use my smaller blending brushes for that ink I don't have either of them well I have Gina K um I have the Gina K cubes they they're nice I just don't reach for them very often because I'm I just reach with for what's in front of me um I've had some hero arts inks over the years they're great go for whatever brand or colors you're into um because yeah there there's so many options now there's so many options now oh i'm gonna lose this dude so we'll just do that oh shortbread but gin ooh, ginger like yeah gingerbread stamp cleaner darn it Oh man. Yeah, it would be nice. That would actually be very interesting. Uh, like I need more incentive to start sniffing my supply. <laughs> it's like, where's mom? She's in the garage <laughs> snorting the stamp cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> uh could be worse. I could be doing worse things. So really, really, really. Okay. Okay. Got all that. He just keeps wanting to flip over. Got all that. Of course, I'm going to add a bit of, a bit of shimmer splatters. Shimmer splatters. You know, we'll keep things, we'll keep things consistent. Okay. So yeah, now we're using Empty Tomb and Ominous Twilight. Love it. Love it. Get all my blending brushes out of the way because I am making a good old mess. Okay, let's get this back out. Empty Tomb, Ominous Twilight. <laughs> Jacob, keep your shirt on. I still gotta finish. I was I started that. I mean, uh. Yeah. Okay. Mhm. Mm Got that one. I love it. Oop, and it's going everywhere, but that's okay. Why not? Just stick some. Stick some little splatters. Okay. Okay. But officer, I swear I'm just sniffing my stamp cleaner. Uh, I should share there. It was a friend posted it on Facebook and I just, I was cackling and it was like some ladies live video of her. She was trying the 
Dunkin' Donuts, pumpkin cream, cold. I don't even know the names of their crap because we don't have a Dunkin's in Canada. But I, I just, I cackled. I watched the entire, it was hilarious. Like she was so hyped up on sugar. And then yeah, it's like, she's going to get pulled over. And the offer is going to be like, what were you drinking? And she's like, it was just the pumpkin cream culvert, you know, because like the amount of sugar they put in their drinks is just <sniffs> gross. But yeah, her live was hilarious. And she reminded me of a couple of people I know. And yeah, but officer, it wasn't alcohol. It's just a ton of sugar. Uh, anyway, anyway. Okay, now we have to assemble this guy. We don't need to worry about those little bits because that's all going to get covered up. Okay, I've lit I've got splatter absolutely everywhere. Grot job, Amy. Grot job. Okay. Um... Here. And I clogged my glue again, so little pin to the rescue as always. Boop. Amy swears. Thank you, Amy. A fellow Amy. Wait. Yeah. There we go. I was like, I can't, you have to click on a specific spot to get it to pop up. <laughs> ah. And they put it, and they they put it on the software. It's click to add or ban the person side by side. Oh so, so far I haven't banned anyone accidentally. God, I would. So anyway, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I swear everything is just designed and I clogged my glue again. Ugh, I'm talking too much. Anyway, anyway. Okay, back to what I was doing. Let's assemble the witch's hat. Uh, okay. It's another email I need to send to the, the people that do Ecamm and be like, maybe tweak your software so that I'm not, you know, <laughs> doing anything stupid. Uh, considering it took me how many live streams to even figure out that that option was even there. Because, you know, again, I'm a professional. You're learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. The little bow. He's technically finicky, but not really. He looks more finicky than he is just because these two little pieces for the innards, basically, of the bow are so small, but it comes together really easily. I just, I'm just going to assemble him before I lose said pieces. Because, yeah, these little guys go like that. So it's very simple. But reverse tweezers for the win. I can't remember if I linked to those or not. Must have, are these the exact same size? Kind of looks like it. Um, one must have multiple pairs of reverse tweezers. That is, that is the law. Because if you don't have multiple pairs of reverse tweezers, um, they will grow legs and walk away. Uh, it hasn't come through yet. Patricia, thank you. I don't know why I get a kick out of it. I'm like, I'm figuring things out. I'm learning how to be a professional. Thank you. Thank you guys for the super chats. I very much appreciate it. It helps a ton. Okay. But yeah, reverse tweezers. They are nice. And they're especially nice for... Um, even if you're not necessarily doing, you know, planning on doing finicky things. Because, you know, some people avoid wafer dyes with finicky parts. I get that. But the biggest thing with these is the fact that you don't have to, like, press. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to hold it. It's like you just hold this. You're not having to press. So people with, like, more mobility issues and, you know, arthritis, et cetera, et cetera. That's why reverse tweezers are so nice. And you guys see me. Like, I use them to hold my little knots when I'm tying bows and things like that. And I can just you know, hold it, set it, do my thing. And I'm not having to, you know, so yeah. is a Sunday live is scheduling. Oh yeah. We have been doing this now for, this is the sixth 
sixth one, I think. Mm -hmm. I think this is my sixth Sunday and the third or something. Third Sunday with Chris. You've done more than that, but we did um, a couple of unscheduled ones. Or one unscheduled one. The one that starts Saturday, Yes. So Sundays at 2 p.m. Central are my scheduled live stream times. Even... Even now, even during the chaos of Stamptember, I did consider canceling today because I got so much going on. But, but, um, yeah. Like well, it's fun. We enjoy it. And, um, how do I want to, I want to sneak that under there. Um, yeah. And I had, and thankfully I had some ideas. <laughs> Not like I don't have, again, five million other things to do, but. I thought we'd still pop in and do our thing. So yeah. Couldn't do such small, you still can. I would use, I just use my fingers or the other thing I do with really tiny um, pieces is use something like my embellishment wand with the either the wax tip or the one that has the, there's another one. This one that has the like kind of rubbery sticky tip on it. I don't know what it's called, but this works too. And I use these a lot when you're adhering little, little embellishments, little die pieces. Again, must have little tools. I have an entire list linked below the video of my most used tools and stuff. Cause I get asked that a lot. So I did that up before I started doing live streams. Cause sometimes I'm on the ball. Not always. Don't count on it. Do you know? Always got to add disclaimers. It's like, don't get your expectations too high with me. <laughs> Just don't. It's it's not a good idea, man. Anyway. Okay. So there's that. And then this goes on top. Just like, he'll go like so to give it that dimension. And then I'll probably use the reverse tweezers to hold this in place to, while it dries. In fact, I am going to do that because there's a couple of spots here that need that. And this is why having more than one pair is nice because then I can just go like that. And yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. This dude, yes, he came out last year in the, like it's available individually, but it was part of last year's limited edition Halloween kit for Stamptember, I think. I think that's what it originally came with, but it's, it's part of their everyday line now. So yeah. Okay. Now I need to get that out of the way so I can adhere the bow. And then we've got our little witch's hat looking all adorable. Look at him and see, he's going to sit. Oh, we'll see it. Maybe we might see a tiny bit of the, it's a good thing I actually blended the stem. And I managed to get some of the empty tombs, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Okay. On to part number 457. Okay, let's get this out of the way, that out of the way. So I've got those two guys and then I need to clean this off. And then Okay. Get that mess cleaned up. Okay. We got our pumpkin, we've got a hat. The pumpkin needs some leaves. So I used the etched oak leaves, wafer dies, and I die cut some leaves. And I think I'm gonna want the smaller-ish ones from this set, because it die cuts three. Hmm. <laughs> I want three, maybe. Well, I'll blend three. We'll just see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. 
and that, and that. And then I need this and some peel paint and some rustic wilderness. And we're gonna do, are they going to do another Halloween kit? I'm waiting for it. I actually can say only because Heidi did a live on Friday and she showed a sneak peek of it. And it might be here, but uh, so yes. As for when it's going to be released, I can't say. I'm, I'm not at, at liberty to share that. But yes, there will be a limited edition Halloween kit. So, because you guys know, I love me the limited edition Halloween kits. They are the best. But yeah, normally I wouldn't say a thing. However, Heidi already spilled the beans. So, <laughs> so I'm not giving away nothing. Uh, I'm still playing by the rules, man. But yeah. You guys will see. You guys will see. So yeah. Peel paint. Rustic wilderness. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay those and then of course they need spawner like everything needs spawner that's just what we're doing oh my goodness and it's just getting everywhere but whatever it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine i need i thought i had grabbed my green what the heck okay let's use a specimen maybe want some specimen i like specimen this one's a good one this one's a Okay. It was a very quick sneak peek. Yes. And yes. Um, yeah, I get a kick out of it. Like, Heidi, again, the owner at Simon Says Stamp, she's like huge on keeping everything a surprise. Like, surprises. We don't reveal anything early. We don't give anything away. And yet she... <laughs> She's always the one who like gives away the sneak peeks and you know lets things slip and I just I get a kick out of it but if she's doing it she owns she owns the place so yeah she can do whatever she wants and when she does then it um then I know that I can I can say what I said anyway okay I want to do a little bit of splatter on these leaves uh people send Halloween cards? I do. I send them just because they're fun. I send them to my Patreon supporters and I just tell people, I'm like, send it just for fun. Literally. Like, why not? There's, you know, it doesn't need to be a specific occasion, like birthday, somebody, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, happy Halloween. I look at it as the same thing as like thinking of you. And really, who's not going to smile if they get a card in the mail or something in the mail that's not a bill? or garbage flyers or anything like that. And instead it's like a Halloween card, you know? I don't, it doesn't matter who you are or what age you are, who's not gonna smile getting a Halloween card? I just, I love it. I love it. And I think more people should make them and send them just because. So that's my philosophy on it. So yeah. Okay, Specimen Mica Stain, another one of my favorites. This was one, another one of the ones that was released this year and it's like so dark and I love it. Love it. Love, 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 love. Okay. So these guys I can set aside to fully dry. Oh, I look at it. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> uh, so much fabulousness. Okay. Okay. 
What was I doing? I don't need that. Don't need that for the moment. I had made a note to myself on one of my five million sticky notes. Tumble glass. Oh, and lotion. That's what she used. Okay. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. My brain is like trying to jump ahead. Anyway. Um. Okay, caught up with everything. There's no questions or nothing. We're good, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Now for the ghosties. I want to use... one we'll see the ghosties need some some blending too because just because they do so we've got our little ghosties in fact I probably should have die cut a second set in fact I'm gonna because I need something to put on the inside of the card where's my scraps of cards I lost them I lost them they're here somewhere I'll find them there they are and where's my little, where's my little ghosties? I'm losing everything. There they are. And I don't have the die. There they are. Ugh. Friendly ghost wafer dies. These have been on the market for like six years. I've used them in like five million Halloween videos. Still one of my favorites. So let's do one more little set of these guys so that I have some to add to the inside of the card. And I don't have any space left. <laughs> ah. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Oh my goodness. Turn on, run through. Pop these little guys out. Yep. Yep. Actually, actually, I'm going to use. Distress inks for the ghosts. What's so funny? <laughs> okay. Since ghosts are technically transparent, I don't want to use my oxides, so I'm going to use regular distress inks, which means I need different brushes for those. Um. Okay. And then. Oh, I run out of room all the time. Like, literally all the time. I showed in one of my recent videos, I zoomed out a little bit and you guys could see the absolute chaos I had going on. And it's like that all the time. And I have stuff all over the floor. I need to vacuum in here again because I got 
I got stuff everywhere. It's a disaster 24 seven and that's just how it is. But anyway, we are going to make these little ghosties. So we'll add a little bit of, just a little bit of lost shadow to them. Look creepily. There we go. There we go. Okay. Just a little bit of lost shadow, and then let me get that out of the way. That brush is getting in my way. Put the lid on my glue. Put the lid on your glue, Amy, so it doesn't clog again. Anyway, and then a bit of tumble glass. That will make them look a little more ghost like. Yes, we all need bigger craft rooms. We do. Honestly, if I could, I'd take over our entire garage. <laughs> But I can't, because we still need some space for other things. Aye, aye, aye. But I also, like I said, after this month is over, got some more organizing to do. Especially now that I'm doing these live streams, I, oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. it's a little bit crazy. So yeah. Okay, so now we have some some little ghosties. Let's do a little bit of um, a little bit of splatter on these guys too. This will be super super subtle because they're very light amount of blending. managing to get stuff everywhere. What the heck did I get on there? What are you? Who knows? Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Now, let's do the Frozen Fog. This is the new one from the holiday release. I haven't even had a chance to use this one yet. as evidenced by the fact that I haven't even had just to open it yet. There. Okay. Do you have your storage pieces linked somewhere? No. Um, with, if you look up like old videos on my channel, but mo one, most, the vast majority of it's from Ikea. Um, but yeah, I don't have um, anything current linked and I don't have any plans to, at least not for now. I, I can't even keep up with my life and my job as it is. But yeah, if you look up my old, some of my older um, organization videos or whatever, I forget. The last one was many years ago, like seven years ago, something. Seven or eight years ago. And I have some stuff listed in there. Okay, let's you need spots right there. Good enough. It's gonna be all this one's going to be another favorite. That's Frozen Fog. It's super pretty and I literally just got it all over me. 
again. Great job, Amy. Great job. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Eh. And messy. I managed to get that absolutely everywhere. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Let's get these guys off the mat. And I think that's technically it for all of the elements to make my little scene. So stick all these guys. Over here. There we go. And then wipe that off. And then get that out of the way. Okay. And then for the sentiment, that's what I was doing right before I started filming. This is another kind of oldie but goodie. This came out a couple years ago. The oh my gourd. <laughs> Wait for die. I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> so yeah, I die cut it from black cardstock. And here's another little random trick. I don't have this linked. This will be under the die cutting category, the tool in one. Um, when you're dealing with little little threads and all of those little, um, you know, fuzzy bits and stuff, depending on the way for die the card. Like there's all different reasons. A lot of it usually is because your cutting plates need to be replaced, which, uh, let me grab my, you know, like you can't even see through it at this point. Um, yeah, when your cutting plates get really, really used up, that's when your dies start getting a little more or your die cuts start getting a little more thready and yeah taking the spellbinders tool in one helps to release a lot of that one way to deal with it I also use like a little toothbrush which I'll show in a second will anything take the stains off the mat no photopolymer stains that is just the nature of photopolymer so all good quality photopolymer stamps and the waffle flower grip mats which are all made from photopolymer will stain just the nature of it the only way you're going to prevent stains is to just not use it so they will stain and does not affect the usability some of my most loved stamps are now pretty much black i've used them so much like my beautiful flower set that i've done like 20 plus videos on um, I've used it so much that the photopolymer is basically black and it works and my grip mats will eventually um, will eventually probably end up turning black with the amount I use them and it's fine same with um, the silicone mats like the stencil mats from waffle flower and honeybee's got a little silicone mat for um, their wax seals and those sorts of things and same thing silicone it absorbs the ink and like certain certain pigments certain dyes um, penetrate that stuff and it stains so yeah um I just now see a picture in picture yes that's brand new I just figured that out today <laughs> So yeah, I am slowly figuring out the things, very slowly. So yeah. Mm. 
what are the mica stains made of? Liquid and mica. Liquid, mica, uh, dyes. And I mean dye is in like liquid dye. And yeah, whatever binders they put into it. I'm not the person to ask that. You can ask Ranger. Not that they'll give like an entire formula breakdown because that's like proprietary, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've die cut this. And then another thing you can do. Um, people get too concerned that their tools look used, but their tools will means well, yes, it's been very prevalent for many years very much in card making but I think maybe in crafting in general this need to keep everything looking pristine which I get it's one thing to like you know take care of your tools take care of your products that's you paid good money for them you know that I get but keeping them looking perfect uh no like let that go. Embrace it. Embrace. Embrace the chaos. Embrace the mess. Embrace the stains. You know, it's. I've been there, you know, even with recent, you know, even with the grip mats and stuff, like the first time I stained it, I was just like a little sad. And then I got over it and now I don't care because <laughs> once it gets stained, it's like eh, no going back now. So, yeah. Anyway, another way to get rid of the little, like, thready, fuzzy bits is just painter's tape. And I just kind of go around. I hold it down a bit, especially if they're, you know, it's a little bit finicky in spots. And that really helps to pick up all those little bits. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's stack these together. Where's my craft tacky glue? There we go. Okay. So we'll stack these together for dimension because dimension is life. on to that one You should see my crafty space. I have spatter everywhere. It's splatter with an L for one. <laughs> uh, don't get me going on that one again. Um, same. I'm not as bad as I used to be, but yeah, I had it in my old, like previous studio. Um, I had my little setup and I yeah it was like all over my camera like all over the lens all over my camera the walls <laughs> I had it everywhere uh, that is one of the perks about being out in the garage it's I have I don't worry about things as much because it's like hmm like yeah it's kind of nice This cardstock, I have it linked in the description. This is just Simon's black cardstock. It's linked in the description box with the supplies. So yeah. Oh my gourd. <laughs> and then another option. I have, I have many when it comes to, you know, thready die cuts. Because sometimes it just happens, depending. So I show like the tool in one painter's tape and then I have a little toothbrush that I keep same thing and I'll just 
kind of run it along and it'll help kind of lift any of those last little stubborn threads from the edges because sometimes they like to be stubborn and more often than not it's because I refuse to grab a new die cutting plate because I use my die cutting plates until they are way past their expiry. <laughs> like I use them until there's nothing left of them or they break, you know, because they've been cut into so many times they just crack and break. Then it's like, okay, fine, I give in. New die cutting plates. So I'll sit here and fiddle and remove all the little threadies when I could just get a new die cutting plate. Like I have extras. But anyway, is what it is. Is what it is. Um does your garage get cold in the winter? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. We, for those that aren't aware, I, I am in Saskatchewan. We generally hit minus 40 Celsius, which is minus 40 Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's the same. Once you hit minus 40, it's the same. And then it just gets worse from there. But yeah, it is. it averages minus 40. And this garage will hit minus 40. Um, it is fully insulated. We insulated it. I installed a garage heater. I've got a big natural gas heater and I have two space heaters in here that will be running. That will get interesting when we're doing live streams. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna, there will be, there'll be some ambient noise because I'm, the mic will pick it up, but there's nothing I can do. Like, we'll deal with it. I'd be more worried about it picking up the blizzards that happen outside. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Winter and the live streaming might get really, really interesting, but we won't know till we get to that point, which isn't very far off, sadly. Because, um, yeah, when I film my regular videos, I will I turn off the heaters and stuff to do my voiceovers because the sound can get, you know, it's annoying. But we ain't going to be turning off heaters if Chris and I are sitting out here for two plus hours, however long my live streams tend to be, which is two plus hours usually. Um, yeah, we ain't going to freeze to death from my job. <laughs> no. Your hands are turning to icicles over the... Yeah, hours. there have been times, literally, it's gotten so cold, but it's like, I also like... I am always um, bundled up. I am even right now. I have slippers on and sweaters and layers and Chris will be having to do the same. Uh, yeah. We might have to get a third space heater. We'll see. Because where he's sitting is closer to the actual like bay doors of our garage. And it get the closer you get to there, the colder it gets when it gets really cold. So. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Do I want to do a bigger card base? That's the one thing. Like, I know. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I got sidetracked again. Oh, I smeared it. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Welcome to live streaming. <laughs> I wanted to add, and I know I have to do this because I'm going to. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Okay. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to take some of the empty tomb and just lightly mist it. You guys can just stare at my silly sweater. Okay. So now I'll take the empty tomb and hold it really I don't want to completely just cover it. Oh, it's going to look nice. It's going to look amazing. Doesn't look like anything yet, but just patience. I got to dry it first. Okay. All your products are in the cold. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, everything's fine. We don't, I don't let it get to, um, freezing temperatures in here. I have the heater 
kicks in, we have it set so that once it goes below a certain temperature, the heater immediately will kick in. I've got that all set up because yes, if I let everything freeze in here, it would ruin literally everything because it can get, I'm not sure exactly how cold it used to get in here before we insulated and installed the heater, but it got it was minus 10, minus 15. Bare minimum, if not even colder, I you know. I think it got... When it got really cold, you yeah, know, minus 40s and getting stuff. Getting north wind. Yes, those are the worst. Oh, I can handle cold. I honestly don't mind it. Like, minus 40, minus 50 even does not phase us at all. It's the wind. The wind, hate it. The wind is what'll kill you. Yep. The actual cold... I don't care. It doesn't phase me. We bundle up, we're good, but the wind just, it hits you and it's just... It rips the heat right out of you. It does. And oh, that's the one thing I hate. That's it, really the only thing I hate about winter is when it's windy and it's windy here a lot. And then everything's like rattling in the wind and it's just miserable. Wah. Anyway. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I don't, we don't let it get, um, super cold in here. Um, yeah, because all my, and all my equipment, oh my God, could you imagine? Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not even as worried about my craft supplies. Those are fairly, well, I guess I have a, I love a lot, like all my inks and everything, but my equipment, my cameras, my computer, all of it. It should be fun. Yes, a little tiny, but yeah, we keep the heaters going and when, uh, yeah, we'll just see. My only thing is with when we are doing live streams in the winter, how the sound is going to affect, but we won't know till, till it happens. It should be fine. It'll just be kind of ambient background noise and everyone will just learn to love it. Yep. We do. Yep. Because there ain't nothing I can do about it because it's either that or I don't do live streams during the winter like there I there's no other options here you know oh yes okay let's see if I can actually show this oh yeah <laughs> look at it look at it look how amazing that is sorry Slee. <laughs> now I need to no cancel stop it Why won't it let me? There. Okay. We're good. We're good. Everything's working, right? Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. Back to what I was thinking. Do I want to do a bigger card base? Because I want, I'm not turning this down. It takes up the whole thing. But do I want to do a bigger card base than an A2? And I kind of do. So let's do that need cardstock for card base. Let's, oof, need to go through my stash and find more of my white cardstock. This is my last piece. <laughs> I know I have more. It's around here somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, crap. So then I can't do five or seven because this is four and a half. I found a half. So if I do a card base that is I need, I need paper. I need to, I need a piece of paper. It's hard to think on camera. Okay. So if we are 4.5, no, no, it's 4.25. That's where I was screwing myself up by 5.5. So if I did it six inches by 4.75, It'll be just slightly smaller than a five by seven card, obviously. So then I would need to cut it at six by nine and a half. <laughs> I don't know what math you're doing. Dave, you don't know what math I'm doing. I'm doing special math for. <laughs> what is the name of that school? From. The model? Oh, the ben tiger. Stiller. Yeah. I'm doing that kind of math. <laughs> 4.75 by 
for kids who don't read good, for kids who don't math good. <laughs> we'll know in a minute whether I got it right, and if not, I'm only worried because this is my last piece of heavyweight white cardstock. Well, okay. Yeah. Five and a half, six, five, and then five. One, two, five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I know what I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> uh, okay, so by nine and a half. So just slightly smaller than a five by seven card. That's what I was aiming for. Because then it will look um and I knocked ugh, whatever. Um it's the matting I'm concerned about. You'll see, you'll, you, the, the madness will make sense in a minute. I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay. So then if we score it at four and three quarters, 4.75. I'm very good at math. It's just, again, it's hard to do on camera. There's an audience. God. Ha! Did I do it? Is it going to work? Ha! Yeah, it's perfect. See? See? I can do math. You can. I never said you couldn't. <laughs> okay. Perfection. Okay. So we got all that. We got all the elements. The last little bit. I just need some companion sentiments. I was going to use... That one and that. Okay. Yeah. These are the spooky salutations sentiment strips from um, Simon Says Stamp. And I've ordered extras because I've like cut into these. You guys can see. Like I've used these so many times in so many videos. And yeah, let's. Trim these down. Yeah. I thought it'd be funny for for the card to say, oh my gourd, I'm just here for the booze. <laughs> ah, love it. And then on the inside I'll say, hey there, beautiful. Boo beautiful, not beautiful, beautiful. With the little ghosties. You know, again, there's there's a message to the madness. Let's move that up a bit. I'm a little. Yeah, there we go. And then line that up. Maybe a little bit less. Okay. No. Yep. Yep. Um, is that an A6? I have no idea. Is it? <laughs> it is a four and three quarter inch by six inch card. I don't, I, mm, eh, eh. I need to, I need to add all those memes. I need that one with the little girl. It's like, yeah. you know, I need that one and I need the Elmo one with the flames. So I can like add those to my, <laughs> to my videos. <laughs> I'm like, eh. I don't know. Oh. I knocked something else over. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. Um, but yeah. Sadly, I am a... I am an uncultured Canadian. I have no idea about international anything, even though Canadians do stuff in centimeters and meters and millimeters and kilometers. Kilograms. Kilograms. But also we reference everything in inches, feet, and how far to like the random tree or you turn at the red house. That's just how it works, okay? That's the, that's, that is the law here. Like we'll say we're going however many kilometers an hour, but then if someone says like, oh yeah, we don't really use miles. We don't, we use some. We use kilometers, but we use pounds and inches. And we measure distance and time, so. We yeah, we measure hours. distance and time, yeah. It's a three hour drive to so-and-so's. Yeah, yeah. Everything is weird. It's just how it is. Anyway, anyway. Okay, 
Okay. How are we on? Okay. We're not, we're not too bad. We're not too bad. Do I want to adhere this flat or do I want to pop it up with dimension? Hmm. I think I want to adhere the background flat and then pop the other elements over. I don't know. I don't know. No, I lied. I'm going to use Big Mom foam tape. Um, thank you, Carrie. That's really sweet of you. I'm glad you guys enjoy. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoy the chaos. <laughs> That's literally what it is. <laughs> like, yes, I do this as a job. I am a professional, but at the same time, like, professional chaos. Pre yeah, I, 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 it's professional chaos, exactly, because. Yeah. Yeah. Can't take myself too seriously. It is just card making after all. You know, this isn't rocket science. This isn't brain surgery. And none of this is going in the Louvre. Although if they were to contact me and ask, I'd say sure. If that included like a free trip so I could actually go there myself and like look at everything. Only if we get a private tour. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. I wonder how much those cost. Uh, more than we will ever make in our lifetime yeah i wonder if they would do they even allow them like if you're like super rich or if it has to be like you, you have to be like status. beyonce i think you need status yeah could you imagine uh could you imagine a private tour of the Louvre? Oh. and versailles private tour of i versailles. would like a private tour of versailles just can i have a day there and a bicycle sure. that's all i want and i will just like truck around that still gets to me those people that grew up around there before it became a tourist track you know and they would ride their bikes in versailles yeah. could you imagine anyway sidetracked <laughs> but yeah don't take yourself too seriously this is card making it's fun and it's a hobby and it's good therapy and yeah None of it is meant to be too serious, too whatever, I don't even know, too professional, you know, so yeah. Uh, okay, so Big Mama Foam Tape, I can't remember if I linked that, did I link to the Big Mama Foam Tape? Yeah. It is in my favorite tools list under the video, but it's always hard to predict exactly what I'm going to end up using before I end up using it. Did I put it on the right? Yeah. yeah okay. Honestly, this background's really cute. Ugh. It's kind of sad that I'm covering it all up, but whatever. Whatever. And then see, did I see what I'm, you know, you know, okay. Where's the, where's my glue? I lost my glue right there right in front of me oh <sighs> I still laugh at you looking for that roll of tape <laughs> I know it was awful <laughs> it was literally right, right there like 12 inches from me right there the whole time I'm I can't even with myself I was wandering around here because I have at backup rolls like hanging up behind me I have like because I have like 10 different types of foam tape because like some has been sent to me I'm always I always buy you know if a brand comes out with foam tape a lot of times I order it because I'm always curious like you know so I have lots of rolls of foam tape and I wandered around here because I thought I was going I was I was going crazy because I was like how yeah it was there the entire time right in front of my face I am a professional, so professional, so organized. Anyway, anyway, pumpkin, and then the hat. These parts will need some foam tape as well because they are a little bit higher so that everything is adhered.
yeah, he just needs a couple and then he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Oop. And then if we stick that back on there, because I'm not quite sure. Go to that. And then my leaves. If we stick one there and there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Thirty four thousand dollars for the pro. <laughs> We're going to need many more super chats. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my God. Could you imagine? That would be really fun, but it'd be over pretty quickly. And then you'd wonder where your $34,000 was. I know, right? I would 100% be like complaining to the manager. <laughs> I didn't get my $34,000 worth. Oh, God. I can't imagine. I'd rather use if you it. had money to burn. I'd rather Literal. use that money to like. Put some of our kids through college. Yeah. yeah. Man, I wish. I do wish. But we will someday have to visit as regular peasants yep. and be crowded around the 500 other people f 100 feet from the Mona Lisa with their phone out. Like, uh, I don't get it. I really don't get it. It wouldn't be very fun unless you were there. Yeah, if you were there in this quiet. <clears throat> there was somebody I, I follow and I forget who it was, but they were there and, oh, it was Joe, Joe and his hubby Trevor. They traveled cause they went, they went like everywhere, but he got a really good picture of the Mona Lisa. And I think they were there like, uh, it was like right before closing or something. Cause everyone was asking, they're like, where's all the people? And I think they were already like ushering people out and he kind of ran around the security. Just, he got, he got close to the Mona Lisa. I wonder if he got a shot of the actual legitimate one or one of the fake ones. That's part of it too. Could you imagine spending $34,000 and it's the fake Mona Lisa? Yeah. Man, that's what would happen to us. Like, yeah. I wonder if that one with Beyonce and Jay-Z when they, because that's still sticks in because they had their pictures like taken with it. I wonder if it was the real one or the fake one. <laughs> I'm sure they brought the real one out for them. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I would, oh, anyway, anyway. For $34,000, I should be able to eat a meal off of it. <laughs> I should be able to just lick it. Just go right up to it. It's all covered in like bulletproof glass and everything, but I should be able to lick that bulletproof glass. Like... I can't. I can't imagine. Anyway. <laughs> so sidetracked. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Even as an art major, I only pay that out. Sort of, oh, yeah. I would never. Like, again, there's places I want to visit. And, yeah, the Louvre is definitely up there. And Versailles. And so many places. I would just... I want to go to the Met. Like all the different, like all those places, but I would love to go to a place where you can actually see the artwork, you know, get up close to it. But I tours. I took a couple of pictures in the Sistine Chapel before he got yes, caught. Yes, I want to be, oh, the Sistine Chapel someday. Yeah, you're not supposed to take photos in there. No, they, no. they, they kicked him out after they caught him. I be, oh, I believe it. I believe it. Oh yeah, he's going to be peeking out behind the, the leaves. It's another place, though. There's so many places on my bucket list. Ugh. Someday, hopefully. Yeah, stick him right there. How do you expect them to remember the Mona Lisa without a picture? Kind of true. It is true. It's so in a sense over but it would be amazing to see it in real life yeah. you know like just it's like i was there but i, I wouldn't pay 30 smells like you don't get that through a picture you don't 
You get to see it, but you don't get But that's to part of it. That's, again, that's and... part of it. Like, I want to go to the Smithsonian. But I, well, I want to go to the Smithsonian and the Louvre. But what I would really love, I want to go in the basement. Yeah. That's what I want. I want to go in the basement. And yeah, I want to touch everything. I want to smell it. You know? The places where they don't let you go. Like that Tom Scott video, the one where he, did you watch that one about the, the big uh, library? Oh, I it was his that. newest one. No. Random again. Um, Tom Scott, if you guys look him up on YouTube, he does amazing videos. They're just they're fascinating and they're not very long, but he just did one of, it's the, is it the, they call it the library reserve or something like that. Where is this? In the UK. They're, they're all over the world, but it's every single printed material, everything. You have to, in the UK, it's a law. You have to give it to them, like a copy, mm -hmm. down to like a, a grocery store flyer. They keep everything. And they've got these like massive facilities with these like crazy robots that go in between the stacks because you can, you have to get oh. a special permission to do research and stuff. It was, it's fascinating. It's basically a national archives. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's huge. And of course he got to go back there, but they wouldn't even let him attach one of his cameras to those robots because they're worth like jillions of dollars mm -hmm. but it's fascinating and like they they generate wind they move so quick but they have every single thing and like in the comments people were saying like they found like obscure things about their family history from those archives because it was like a random little thing in a random little flyer or someone who does a little weekly newsletter like if it's a printed material anyway i'm going on random tangents these things fascinate me <laughs> Luis to Kim. Yeah, let's wait. Let me get this guy. Yeah, if we stick him there and we'll stick him up with a little, a little sticky. Anyway, <laughs> back to the card today. <laughs> Chris and I can talk later about like National Archives and what we want to do with our lives. Uh... Yeah, okay. Stick him into place with a little but yeah that's his name right tom scott yeah yeah highly recommend they're just he's got the most fascinating he finds the most random things to film videos about love it okay so we got that and then yeah i'm gonna tuck him into there The Louvre is like, the, oh yeah, the Louvre is enormous. And the Met, the Smithsonian, there's so many places I want to go. But then also all those places, considering they only show, it's less than 10%, I think. Yeah. It's less than 10% of what they actually have. All of it's in their, you know, just massive basements. That's where I want to go. Like, it's like Indiana Jones. Maybe the British Museum of Natural History true that one too except that's where you go when you want to see all the stolen treasure yeah it's with that that's like that with every museum we're not getting into that conversation um but it's like indiana jones at the end of raiders of the lost ark when they're rolling the ark oh yeah and that big warehouse it's like i know that exists i went in there and i want a crowbar i want to open all the boxes and see what's inside them like the world's biggest christmas oh it would be amazing yeah. but yeah okay See, it's all coming together now. It's starting to make sense. Here's my card, basically. And I'm just... Now I want to go down the rabbit holes of museums and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Chris and I have all kinds of dreams. We will get to travel eventually. Probably won't be for a very long time. <laughs> but, yeah, we... We're patient. Yeah, we're patient and we will get our chance to do the things and hopefully in the process we won't get our asses arrested as we're trying to like, we just want to go in the basement. <laughs> we want to see the real Mona Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, back to the card. I'm going to stick one little piece right there. Yes, there we go. Cause that just kind of hangs over the edge a bit. So that keeps it a little more stable. 
and then I can adhere this into place. Peel off the backing. I don't know why this cracks me up. Oh my gourd. Okay. Put this straight. Yes. There we go. Love it. Okay. And then this one. We'll just pop up with thin ones. Just so it's got just a little bit of dimension. <laughs> okay, and then inside got sentiment and the little ghosties. So we'll adhere those guys. And then guy there and this guy I was wondering how you're gonna fit all those dies on one card generally I have it somewhat planned out ahead of time, but sometimes if they don't all fit, they just get set aside for the next creation. But usually, and yeah, usually I kind of lay things out ahead of time to give myself a rough idea of what's going to work. Let's stick him right there. Okay. Okay, do I want to add some bling? Kind of. Do I need to add some bling? No. That's the one thing I didn't pull out. Um, one second. Talk amongst yourselves, people. Um, link to these just look up bubble bath I'm pretty sure these still exist okay okay where's my the third one that yep the yep turn the stamps bubble bath bobbles if I can get the thing open oh yeah <laughs> they're like I don't, I don't even have a word to describe what these look like. They're so cool. I love these. So let's just stick these in and amongst everything. Stick one down there. And then a little, little tiny one there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
see it over there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's adhere them. Um, I left the glue open again. And I didn't clog it. Shocker. Here, all these guys into place. Of craft hacky glue. Boop. It's a little one. Get over here. Yeah. And we are done. A little longer than I expected, but still not bad considering how many sidetracks I went on. <laughs> Conversations. Thank you. I can. There is the finished card and flashlight. Flashlight, turn on. There we go. There we go. Yes. Heck yeah. Did you link to them in the yeah, chat? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a... Love it. So yeah, and then of course the inside, which got my little ghosties on the inside. And then I kind of switch around, I think. And then I can do that. And then maybe, let me see, let me see if I can, if I zoom in, wait, zoom out. And then if I, <laughs> kind of do that. That's as close as I can get to split screen. Anyway, um, thank you guys for tuning in. And like I will always do, um, I'll have the like photos and the blog post and the finished supply list. For the most part, it's already linked below, but you know, I'll edit it, all the things that I'll be done later today amongst all the other things I have to do. I will have another video coming this evening. Um, and plenty of videos. Because Stamp Timber, we are only halfway through, based just, just slightly over halfway through. And yeah, how do you come up with all, all your amazing card designs? Oh, wait, no, back, ah, there we go. Um, it never stops, ever literally there's there's random things and then i just scribble down all the different random ideas i get and it just it never stops sometimes it's kind of insane so <laughs> you're kicking it without a quote i am slowly figuring out the software slowly slowly very slowly but we'll keep we'll keep working on it you know baby steps but yeah, I'm figuring out how to do the whole picture and picture thing and adding comments to the screen. Thank you guys for the super chats. I very much appreciate it. It helps a ton. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. And um, do we know if there are going to be other kits this month? Uh, the Halloween one was already confirmed and sneak peeked. And I mentioned that earlier. It's It might be right there. You never know. You never know. So that one was already confirmed by Heidi. But as for anything else, um, you guys will just have to wait and see because it's all, it's all secrets and surprises and fun things. 
And yeah, there's still like however many collab sets to come out. And I will have, of course, tons more videos along with all of the other things. And yeah, I think, I think that is it for now. I am going to big thanks to Chris. Thumbs up for Chris helping. He helps a lot with helping moderate the chat so that I'm not as scatterbrained and all over the place as I usually am, you know, getting there. I can multitask, but it helps. So huge thanks to him for helping with all of that. But now I have an absolute disaster of a mess cleanup. Disaster of a mess to clean up. The next video to finish filming, editing, and I have another one coming. I have lots, lots of content coming. So like always, I have the links below to my social medias, all of the affiliate um, links, like Tim Holtz, you have a popcorn brain. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Like my, honestly, my, my biggest issue is I have more ideas than I have time. Like I've, I have tons, I have tons of ideas. And that's why I do things like the release and review videos. You know, when I walk through a release and just show all the products and I just start rattling off the ideas I have because I, I don't have enough time to do all the things. I wish I did, I really do. But it's like, I'll just give the ideas and let other people use them, you know? So, um, your opinion on the difference between Spectrum Noir and Copics, uh, apples to oranges. Um, yeah. Spectrum Noir is much cheaper, significantly cheaper. Um, Copics have a way bigger color selection and are much more vibrant, but they're both great. You just got to choose what fits your style and budget. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you guys. Seriously. Huge thank you for joining me in the chaos as we and yeah as we evolve and figure out this whole live streaming thing it's been getting better and better thankfully <laughs> it would have really sucked if it was getting worse and worse but i'm figuring things out we're doing all the things chris is now my you know un unpaid help and makes a huge difference though and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna run literally and i'm gonna have a snack too and clean up this mess get the blog post the photos etc more videos coming, etc, etc. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video.